So meditation is one of my favorite tools to use each day just to help stay in balance, especially during all the craziness in our daily lives. Um, so right here, I have a couple of tools that I like to use for my meditations. They include um, sound healing. So I have my singing bowls. I also have some tuning forks that are hidden away right now. And then my harmonium. I'm not going to lie. I'm just learning how to play this now. So I'm no expert, but um, oftentimes we use this in a bhakti style yoga, more of a devotional style practice to do some mantras, which is a chanting style of meditation. And I love to use my singing bowls just to connect with that vibration and the sound. Each of these bowls connects to one of the chakras. So if you're trying to bring your heart chakra into balance, you would take the bowl that resonates with that heart chakra. You could play it over that. Um, one of my goals actually is to incorporate these into my Thai massage um, uh, repertoires as well. So I'll be using uh, sound healing as part of the traditional healing with um, Thai massage too. And then another thing that I have is my mala. I have a couple of these, but this is one that one of my dear friends Gabby made for me. And this is made from sandalwood. So the mala has 108 beads on here. And um, each bead represents the 108 marble points that are in the body. So that's why when you do mantra meditation, you do um, one for each of the marble points. So you always want to make sure that you're holding it with the ring finger and then using the thumb to go down. You don't want the index finger to touch it because that um, is the fire element and you don't want to bring that mantra to fire. So the Ganesh mantra, which you can see right here, is one of my favorite mantras to do. And it's just Om Gan Ganapatehe Namaha. And it's simply about removing obstacles from your life. So if we're doing this, we would hold our mala bead as so. You always wanna be trying to, try to be mindful of it not hitting the ground. This one's rather long, so I just, I do my best. <laughs> um, but you'll start with the thumb, you start with the first one right above the guru bead. It'd be Om Gan Ganapatehe Namaha. Om Gan Ganapatehe Namaha, Om Gan Ganapatehe Namaha, and you keep going, you can even sing, and you can, you probably start to feel the energy going with it too a little bit. My goal is to do a lot of these with the harmonium. And then, so that's one of my favorites. And then once you get to the end, so you get to the other side, you wanna flip it around. So again, you're not touching that guru bead or using the index finger, and then you can go back through the, um, the uh, mala again. Then back here, I have my sacred space, which is one of my little favorite things in my house I just got set up. So an altar is very personal to yourself. It can go with the seasons or it can just have a bunch of random things on it. Mine kind of does a little bit of both, but mainly it's just a bunch of random things. So I have a plant because I like having a little bit of each of the elements here. So I do have a glass of water in the back. I always have my candle lit. Um, and then I have my... Um, herbs and such like that to represent the, the grounding of the earth and then I have incense going to represent the air and space elements. I have my little journal here so when I'm meditating sometimes I just get random thoughts So this is my little random thought notebook, some crystals, my medicine wheel. Um, I've always felt very connected to the native tradition so I purchased this when I was visiting Fairfield and then um, I still have that relationship with Christ. I grew up Catholic and I integrate all of my spiritual practice with my traditional upbringings and so this is my little um, homage to um, Christ and my Celtic heritage over there and then of course my cell and my crystal to clear the space so these are all little things you can do at home. Finding your seat's always a good thing. I like to be propped up, so I add some blankets in my cushion, but you can use a block, you can use pillows, you can use blankets, you can use books, whatever feels good to you. So this is my sacred space.